I'm okay. So, uh, if you're not okay, just roar or grunt or anything. Just get up, please. Willow! <gasps> the ice switch! Remember me, Nunu. New New. Remember the heart of the blue. A fire for the darkness. A candle for the night. You must find it, Nunu. New New. To find it is to find me, too. Look for the winged mountain. Find the heart of the blue. Willem, I've been working on our song. Should I play it? Here we go! taught it to me. I used to do that with Mom, you know. We always sang together. Yeah, she was. She is. Yeah, you know what? You're right. It's funny. As long as I'm looking for the heart of the blue, I feel she's closer. Somehow. Okay then. Mom wants me to find the heart of the blue, so that's what I'll do. Thanks, Willem. I couldn't do it without you, buddy. <laughs> Can you tell me more about the Heart of the Blue, Mom? What do you want to know? What does it do, exactly? Is it like a weapon? Yes, in a way. Oh, cool. Is it a sword? No one ever taught me to use a sword. It's not a sword. Think of the heart of the blue, like a candle. A candle? When evening falls and the chill sets in, what do we do? We light a campfire? Exactly. We fight the cold and the dark with warmth and with light. That's what the Notai have always done. And that's what the heart of the blue is, Nunu. A fire for the darkness, a candle for the night. Mom, you always do this. <laughs> do what? You never give me a straight answer. You always want me to figure out for myself. Maybe that's the best way to learn. Maybe the best way to learn is if you just tell me. Look for the winged mountain, Nunu. You'll find the answers you seek. <gasps> Mr. 
dream is a fearful place. So much darkness hiding just below the surface. The fear of weakness and of loss. I can only spend so long hiding the dreams of mortals. But this war is yet in our loneliness. The region I need to well. They're looking for a magic relic. Something called the Heart of the Blue. I'm almost certain this is linked with the Yeti's magic. The power to make true ice. The same true ice I used to save the world so long ago. And true ice I need. The wall I built with true ice is falling. The cities are melting. The cracks grow deeper and deeper every day. And behind that dark wall, you're there. My oldest foe, the Void. If you break through, it will be the end. You will devour the world. But this yeti could be my blade against you. And I'm planning to wield it soon. Recipes are always magic, little one. <laughs> but not like that. No. Eating stew will give us time. Time to think of the solution to the problem of the blizzard. So, what's in it? Where do we get the ingredients? Rob must capture giant boar, gather vegetable from deep underground, and wrestle deadly poison worm for seasoning. There's no big deal. Wow. It's like a quest. So what about me and Willem? You and the uh, giant Boro here, you will go and bring cauldron from the abandoned camp, just down in the valley. A cauldron? Is that it? Oh, come on. This is Quest. Will you accept it, little hero? Sure. I guess. Yes. Then, with Quest's complete, we will meet back here to share stories of our incredible adventures. Let's go. Oh, excuse me? Hey, excuse me! Over here! He can't hear me! Help me out, would you, Willow? Mm -hmm. Visitors. 
I don't like visitors. How did you get in here? We touched the shovel. Uh, of course, I thought I'd got rid of it. You shouldn't touch someone else's property, you know. We're sorry. We won't do it again. But the shovel, spade, thing brought us here. And, well, you're Orn. You're the greatest blacksmith in the whole of the Freljord. You dug out the valleys and created the snow. When it comes to crafting, there's nothing you can't do. <clears throat> a rare element indeed. You carry a flame, child. No, not quite. It is but a spark. The spark of a Nivea. Most curious. Oh, yeah, of course. So, um, Orn, we're looking for a cauldron, for a friend. Maybe you already have one here we can use. Or maybe even make one for us, please? No. Not even as a favor? For the last of the Yeti and his no-type pal? <laughs> no. Well, what are we gonna do now, buddy? You can do it yourself. Huh? You need fire, metal to melt, and a strong gust to fan the flames. Show me what you can do, little spark. Sure. Here. Oh, I haven't 
seen one of these in... Huh? You ate it? Of course. No one should work on an empty stomach. Now, what of the Calorel? Oh. It gave us this. A tear? The Calorel cried for you? That is telling me they sent it to you. Sent? What? Prashti and power. You and your Yeti friend here carry a great burden indeed. May Anivia's heart guide you. Is it magic? Ah, you youngsters with your endless desire for ruinous magics. Sometimes craftsmanship and beauty are their own rewards. Now go. Your presence here means that time is short. There is much to do. Thank you, Orn, for everything. It's been an honor. Yeah! <laughs> Remember, child, when darkness surrounds everything and all seems lost, Sometimes a little spark is all that's needed to light the greatest of fires. <sighs> you have outstayed your welcome. Away. Leave me. I know, I know. We should get back to Brom. Hey, Brom! We had the most amazing adventure! I think you'll help us pass the blizzard. This is nice. You have found incredible treasure. Yeah, like he said. Ha! That's the most incredible thing Brom ever heard. It would make a great song. Thanks. Speaking of songs, buddy, I've tweaked our song a little. Should I play it? Spell songer, don't fail me now. Compliment needed, my friends. Was Brom's pleasure. So, what happens now? Are we gonna try and cross the blizzard? No. Uh, now we sleep. The blizzard is a challenge we face in the morning. You know, Brom, back in the fortress, we found something scary. Don't be like that. You know, the void is really scary stuff. The, the void? Uh, stop there, little friend. Tell me exactly what you saw. Well, there was a carving of one of those giant tentacle monsters and statues of the three sisters. Cyrilda, Avarosa, and Lysandra. But one doesn't want to talk about these things. You see? Do you know something about this, Brom? Some story? 
Well, I've heard, of course, about the War of the Three Sisters uh, thousands of years ago. Yetis fought with the Three Sisters against the Void, and they won. Thanks to Lysandra, I think, and a secret weapon. But the Yetis paid a great price. What price? Legend doesn't say. Maybe our blue friend can tell us more. Ah, <sighs> well, um... Giant Poro is right. <laughs> it's time to sleep, little hero. Legends need to be fresh. <sighs> okay. But tomorrow... Tomorrow? We'll be legends, Nunu. Together. Are we getting any closer, Mom? Are we on the right track? I would tell you if you were heading in the wrong direction, Nunu. But are we close? When will we get there? What else do I need to know? You need to be patient, Nunu. You'll find everything in the heart of the blue. Believe, Nunu. Believe. I don't think I'll ever know more than you. What, what is the heart, heart of the blue, blue child? It's a candle. Right, Mom? A candle? A candle. What, what do you mean, mean it's a, a candle? A candle for the night. I thought that's what you said. Did I get it wrong? No, child. You didn't get it wrong. I was just testing you. What else can you tell me about it? Um, a fire for the darkness, you said. Also, it's a weapon? What kind of weapon? Wielded by whom? Are you okay, Mom? I'm okay, Nunu. Why? Is something the matter? Um... No. Everything's fine, I guess. So... What do I do next? You carry on, my son. You endure. That's it? That's it. Trust in Willem. Trust in yourself. You'll get there, Nunu. I promise. and his boy are so close. So close to the Freljord's darkest secret. Does the Yeti really know where he's going? And why go there? The creature will only find pain. It is the same pain I carry. The agony of losing your closest kin. Or is it something else? Did the Yeti hide something there? Something I can't see, even when I puppet the boy's dreams. An ultimate weapon called the Heart of the Blue. Oh, that foolish hero, the Heart of the Freljord is with them. I'll deal with him. Then the Yeti will bring me its secrets. What, what happened? 
happened? Where am I? You are where the blizzard used to be, little one. It worked? It worked! Look! Guys, look! The winged mountain! We made it! Bomb! Your mighty stew of heroes worked! <laughs> the protector of the frail yard strikes again! Thanks, Brom. Come on, guys. Hmm. His eyes. That boy is curious. for first hero lesson. Huh? Now? Yes, now let Grom give you both the best piece of hero advice ever. Well, what is it? Run! What? No! greatest hero has fallen. Now, Yeti, you're next. You will wield this heart of the blue for me. At any cost.
<laughs> Willa! Please don't eat me, please don't eat me, please don't eat me, please don't eat me! What is this? A Nivea's children, a no-tie cup and a mountain child. Together, the old world unites, ready for glorious battle. Sister would be proud. Show me your power, so that you might live. Roar! Ha! He does not know! You have not told him! No matter. There is yet time. Behold, a true roar! Like you, Mr. Volleybear, sir. No. But you will be able to roar like yourself, Cub. A true roar, your true power, comes from within. Sure thing. I understand. My true roar comes from within. I don't get it. Now go. You have disturbed me long enough. I must rest. Gather my strength for what is to come. Um. How exactly do we get out of here? We're looking for the Winged Mountain, and... Ramshara. Of course you are. You are already there. Thank you. Thank you so much, oh great and wise bear. We will meet again, Cub. One day. On the eve of battle. And if you haven't found what you are searching for by then... I'll kill you both myself. <laughs> Good one, Mr. Volleybear. He's not really gonna kill us, right, Willump? Uh, Willump? Talk about a day! We find your home, Willump. We explore Ramshara. We get to the room that holds the Heart of the Blue, and it's not even there. What was the point? <laughs> sleep? How can you sleep? You saw what I saw, right? There was true ice, dark ice, ice, ice. Even Anivia descending from the heavens to give the Yetis a piece of her heart. A piece of Anivia's heart. That's gotta be the heart of the blue, right? We gotta find out what happened to it. There's no need to snap at me just because you can't remember. <laughs> what? What do you mean you had it? When? <laughs> so you were its guardian? Why didn't you say so? What did you do with it? Come on, Willem. I thought we were friends. I don't understand why you can't just tell me the truth. You do know that the Heart of the Blue is going to take me to my mom, right? So where is it, Willem? <laughs> where it belongs? What does that mean? More riddles? You're as bad as mom. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You're going to sleep now? Fine. We'll talk in the morning. Where it belongs. What, what progress, progress have you made on your quest, quest child? child? We're getting closer, I think. Willow and me found Ramshara. Do you know it? The city of the Yeti. What did you see? It's amazing, Mom. You won't believe it. Go on. Every wall has magic drawings that tell you stories, Mom. Did you know about true ice? True ice? Where? Where, Where child? child? Well, there was this room, and there was this ancient gem. And Willem told me that the gem 
gives the Yeti's power to make true ice. Do you think, maybe... Is the gem still there? Mom? Are you okay? Is the gem still there, child? No, Willem said he took it. The Yeti. Their city. Ramshara. What? What are you saying, Mom? Be calm, Nunu. You're almost there. You have all you need. Feel the heart of the blue. Wait, what? Serilda, the wordless. Avarosa, the soundless. And me, Lysandra, the... I don't need my sight to remember how daring you were, my dear sisters. I see your faces all the time. I'm here again. Alone, where it all began thousands of years ago. And as before, a sacrifice must be made. It was here, the beating heart of Anivia, the heart of the blue, my only chance to restore the true ice. The Yeti knows. And he will answer to me, even if I have to rip his soul apart. Peace by peace. Please. Willow! The 
I switch. Step away from the creature, child. Get away from Willem! Willem? Willem. <laughs> so it has been given a name. Oh, child. Do you not realize what this creature is? He is... He's my friend. No, child. This beast is nothing more than a weapon. A weapon to be used in the war to come. What are you talking about? A great darkness stirs. A darkness that threatens the entire friend world. It almost destroyed this land last time. It could very well destroy all Rune Terra. This Willow holds the secret to a power that can stop it. True ice. True ice? I I don't understand. I do not expect you to. But answer me this, child. Would you sacrifice one life to save millions? One life to save the world? I guess, but he's my friend. Your friend? I sacrificed my kin, child. My beloved sisters. You did? Yes, because even my dearest family was meaningless when I faced down the end of the world. That's true bravery, child. To be able to sacrifice what you love most for the greater good. I'll tell you one last time. Step away from the creature, child. As if I thought it could be any other way. Come, creature. I have a purpose for you elsewhere. Willem? She's taken Willem. No. Willem! Willem. I'm sorry. If only I was stronger, I could have. I'm so cold. Nunu. Nunu. Stand up, my son. It does not end like this. Oh. Who are you? I am always with you, Nunu. In your heart and in your mind. Oh. I don't know what to do. As are all your friends, Nunu. Hold them in your heart, and they will give you strength. I don't understand. But focus them in your mind, and they will give you power. Strength? Power? You talk about mom. Focus, my son. Mom? Mom? You go. was lost in a giant underground city made of, of lights and slides. When a warm feeling in heart and head and even mustache pulled me this way. That sounds awesome. Yes, but sad you will never know. You do not have mustache. What's that sound? It is best you do not see that one. You remember what I said back on bridge? The best hero advice? Run? Good idea. Brilliant! Here we go! This will be getting bumpy. Put your arms around Bro's neck and hold on tight! May I, Captain? No, not so tight. Bro still needs to breathe. <laughs> Danger is no life at all, little hero. 
Like that, no, no. There's always hope, little hero. Ah, if only we had more stew, then we would have the best idea. Stew? The Kellero! That's it! Brom, you're a genius! I am? <laughs> I am! <laughs> Why am I genius? you something. I hear you. I learned that Lysandra sacrificed her family, her sisters, to save the world. She told me that I needed to sacrifice Willem too, or the world would be destroyed. What I'm thinking is, is it right to sacrifice someone to save everyone? Deep thoughts, little hero. Hard choices. Maybe it's a stupid question for a prof. But... But? But I've always believed that for every two hard choices, there's a secret number three. I... I like that. <laughs> Find the way inside. But there are so many guards. What do we do? We do nothing. Rome will distract the guards while you sneak inside. I love a distraction. What will it be? Oh, I know. You can dress up as a giant Puro and talk our way inside. A wonderful, if not a little strange idea. But no. So what are we going to do? Brom will fight them. Oh. You know how Brom tell you he beat four armies with only his left hand? This will be fifth. Right, buddy?
such displays of friendship. A warmth to thaw even the frail yard itself. <clears throat> but what if there is no frail yard? I told you before what is at stake here, child. This willump. Or the world. And yet, here you are. And here I'm staying. With Willem. Then you have made your choice. To throw away the world in the pointless pursuit of friendship. Your naivete dooms us all. No. I'm choosing another path. I know the sacrifices that you made. And why. But I can't do the same. What's the point in living without your family beside you? And what precisely is this other path you speak of? Enlighten me. I... don't know yet, but... we'll find it together. No problem ever only has one or two easy solutions. There's always a secret option number three. You just gotta look hard to see it. Sight? You talk to me about sight. I may be blind, child, but my vision is clear, and I see your doom.
this child. Your time has
Says, did we win? Hmm. I think. I think we. <laughs> you cannot use ice to destroy its own queen. Such delusion. The hourglass runs short. There is no time for this futile dance. It's clear now you are fool enough to give everything for this beast, child. So, let me see how far this friendship goes. Wait! What are you doing? strong enough. Mom was wrong. I'm just not strong enough. But you are strong enough, Nunu. Mom? I'm so proud of you, my son. But I failed, Mom. I can't say Willump and I didn't find the heart of the blue. You can save him, Nunu. And you have found it. You're wrong, Mom. I have it. I couldn't. Do you remember what the heart of the blue is? I don't know what it is. You never told me. A fire for the darkness? A candle for the night, but I don't know what that means. It means you needed to be somewhere dark before you could find it. You know where it is, Nunu. You feel it now, don't you? No. I don't know. It can't be. Say it. Will gave me the heart of the blue? He did. So where it belongs is with you, Nunu. But why? You'll have to ask Willem. I feel like I'll lose you if I touch it, Mom. Is that true? In a way, yes. Then I can't. I'm I won't lose you again. You'll play my songs, I trust. You'll tell stories about me. Yes, but... Listen to me, Nunu. You cannot kill a story. You cannot kill a song. So long as there are voices to sing and ears to hear, a song lives forever. As will I. Okay? Okay. But right now... You have a brother who needs your help. A 
brother? Willump! You know what you must do? I do. And are you ready? I am. Then let's go. I tell you, five armies, left arm, no problem. A new record for the mighty... Oh, uh, Brom is thinking this maybe is not best time for a union, huh? Survive first, big fluffy hugs later. Come, giant Poro, check. Little hero, check. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> you found your heart of the blue, you defeated the evil queen, and you saved the biggest poro prom has ever seen! <laughs> I know, I know, but I love poro. <laughs> what can I say? You are the finest of Yeti, and I am honored to have fought alongside you, my friend, my Willem. You are lucky to have such a friend, little hero, but then you too are more than you seem. Together, you are unstoppable. So what happens now, Brom? What are you gonna do? This is the Freljord, Nuno. Always there is someone who needs help. Just over the horizon. That is where you will find Brom. You can come with us, you know. We make a pretty good trio. Indeed we do, little hero. But the mountain must stand alone. Besides, Brom wants to hear your stories the next time we meet, huh? Then we'll make sure they're the best you've ever heard. I'll get bigger and stronger and be just like you! Oh, you are already strong, Nuno. In ways I cannot imagine. But you will never be like Brom. Huh? Why? You will never know loneliness. Sorry? What are you sorry for? That's okay, buddy. How come you never told me? To hide it from the Ice Queen. Huh. I just worry I'm not worthy of having the Heart of the Blue. Thanks, Willump. You're so wise. Now? But I don't have anything to use it on. Spellsonger! You're right! It, it broke! Okay. So, how does this work exactly? <laughs> Oh, 
Wow! It's fixed! Okay. Now what? Freljord, here we go! Hey, well, I was thinking, Mom once told me that all great stories need a great title. So, what should we call this story? I love it, Willem! It's just perfect! The brisk, chilling air is calling And out there we're free To run and jump and live so wildly Impossible! That boy... He... Healed me! Granted, it only lasted for an instant. But for the first time in an age, I could... See. And what a sight it was. A power. The power that I have sought for so long. Wielded by a child. He has the Yeti magic. No. He is the Yeti magic. He is the heart of the blue. But how has this happened? Was it all our fault? In manipulating the Yetis, did I forge the need for this boy to exist? I was wrong about so many things. I am not the savior I thought I was. Such power. Such innocence. The boy is a blade. Not me, and certainly not the Yeti. Yes, I must sharpen that blade for what is yet to come. The North shall have its frozen messiah. The savior to face the abyss. The hourglass runs short. No, the hourglass is broken. The time is now. I shall watch him, as they watch me.